Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Random Things 36. And now, today I have got the top 10 DC Comics characters and next time I am going to upload a video about the top 10 characters in Marvel. But now, um, uh, you know I have been doing some card tricks with you guys and some fact kind of videos. And I have asked you guys to make another episode of something. for uh, It was like a homework kind of thing for you guys. But today I have came out with an idea, um, and it's the character versus, and you'll know it soon. It's just char a character versus a character, and it's going to be DC Comics and Marvel, and you'll enjoy it. So, for example, like Superman versus Batman, and yeah, so that's just how I'm going to do it. But today I'm not going to start that episode out, but I am going to do the top 10 characters in DC Comics. So I hope you enjoy this video, and let's get right into it. So number one, it's Green Arrow. Green Arrow, most of you guys probably know. He used to be a playboy in college. Uh, he just chilled out. He didn't really go to school. But then he didn't realize he had a talent in... <clears throat> Sorry, um, shooting arrows, um, and yeah, so he just found a talent, and he practiced, 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 and he became the Green Arrow, and the reason why he's called Green Arrow is because his bows and his arrows are green, and yeah, so that was number 10, and let's move on to number 9, and it's Cyborg, most of you guys know Cyborg, so his, um, so the reason why he became Cyborg is that, um, he was a great athletic, and when he was in college, but unfortunately, he died, and for some, because he had an accident, and sorry, I just coughed. Um, so he had an accident, and he died, and his father did not want him to die, and he was a really good scientist, and so he made he so his son, so yeah, so his father made him alive. Uh, uh he brought him back to life. Except half of his face and half of his arms were the only part of his actual body, and the rest were just robots. And now his and then his robot robots robots um were a really good weapon. Um, his father was not really m mean to build build him because uh, to make him a superhero, but somehow he became a superhero because. He worked out that he had a pretty decent weapons, weapon systems in his um, uh, robot. So yeah, that was number nine. Let's move on to number eight, and it's Firestorm. Firestorm is in a movie of not a movie, a episode of a TV show called The Legend of, Legends of Tomorrow. He has got a nuclear power. I don't know how he became Firestorm, but when he says something out loud, his head turns into fire, his hands turn into fire, and he can just punch stuff with his fire fist, and yeah, so that was number eight. Let's move on to number seven, and it's Aquaman. I love Aquaman. He is in the uh, Justice League movie that has came out pretty recently, um, and Aquaman, he can control the ocean power. Um, he can control uh, all these marine animals. If he says shark, shark comes out out of nowhere, fish comes out, and water, water comes out of um, nowhere, and yeah, so that was number seven, and let's move on to number six, The Flash. The Flash is a really strong character, because he's the fastest man alive, and he is so fast that he can just go through times, if you know what I mean, so he's a time machine, uh, pro uh, yeah, he's, a, he's sort of like a time machine, not, not, He's not made to be a time machine, but he is so fast that he can travel time. He can go to the prehistoric age, the dinosaur age. He's just too fast that no one can catch him. And yeah, he's just too fast, you know, and no one can catch him, I guess. And yeah, so that was number six, and let's move on to number five. And number five is Green Lantern. Green Lantern, he has his got a green suit and he has a green ring and it, the green ring is really important for him because it does all the work for him um so if he has a green ring he can literally make anything out of it um if he thinks of a hammer he can make a hammer out of it he can make anything out of it and yeah so his 
Green Ring is pretty good, you know. And that's why I've put Green Lantern in number five. Let's move on to number four, Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman is a queen of Amazon. And she has been gifted by a god. And she's just a really, really, really good fighter. And he can, she can, um beat the heck out of everybody, you know, so she's just a really cool character, I guess, so that's why I've put him in number four. Number three is Shazam, and Shazam is not really known that much, but I personally think he, he should be known, like, for most of the people, because Shazam has beaten Superman, the, the best ever character in the whole entire character planet. He has beaten Superman, and Shazam is incredible. He has a lightning uh, power, and he beat all these characters, all the strong characters like Black Adam, Superman, Batman, all these characters, and Shazam should be known. And he's such a powerful character, I had to put him in number three. And now number two who has beaten Shazam is Batman. Batman, most of you guys know, I... I think everybody knows, not everybody, but like 90% knows who Batman is. Batman is a Batman, if you know what I mean. He can, he is a Batman. He is literally a Batman, like a Batman. Um, he controls bats. He's a superhuman, he's a superhuman, so he's a superhuman, an alien, because some of the characters that I've been talking through are not humans. Like Firestorm is not. Uh, and Batman, he's got a really good skill. He does. His main skill is a judo and karate. And yeah, he's a really good fighter. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know a lot about uh, Batman. And I have recently heard that Batman is going to marry Catwoman. And DC Comics is making a new comic book out of it. I personally do not like it. I do not want Batman marrying Catwoman. But that's what the DC Comics is gonna do, so I can really Yeah. So Batman is going to marry Catwoman. He's a such a strong character. And let's move on to the number one and of course it is going to be Superman. I don't need to talk about him. It's too good. He literally just can beat the heck out of everybody. Superman. He's super. Um, I've been talking about Flash, right? He was number six. The fastest man alive. But when Superman and Flash has a race, sometimes Superman can beat him. Because he's a superman. He has a super sight. He has a super hearing. He has a super uh, smelling. He has a super laser coming out of eyes. Super everything. Super speed. Super, super, super. Like everything. Like everything not super virus or anything like that but everything every super thing good if you know what i mean yeah just a really cool man and he has been in the justice league um batman too um yeah batman superman flash uh aquaman and cyborg has been in uh, and wonder woman has been in the recent uh movie justice league so that was it for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. And after you've hit the subscribe button, remember to click that bell button so you don't miss out on any new videos I upload on YouTube. I will see you next time because um, I am going to upload another video on the top 10 Marvel characters right now. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys. Bye.